Welcome back here to Mountain Connections. Thank you so very much for keeping it tuned here to Park City Television. I'm very excited for our next segment. It's Tech Tips with Nexus ITC, joined by my great friends Earl Foote, the CEO, and Mr. Travis Gunn, the VP of Business Relations. How are you two gentlemen doing today? Fantastic. Thank Excellent Diego. as Thank always. Thank you for having us on. Absolutely. Yeah. Always a pleasure to have you guys on and enjoy our conversations. And typically we talk about <laughs> ways that we can prevent malware attacks, ransomware attacks, yep. things like that. But today we're going to talk about the unfortunate circumstance of if it actually happens to you. Because yep. unfortunately you can't prepare, but it can still happen. Uh, recently in the news, Baltimore City uh, underwent a large, large ransomware attack and they had to spend upwards of $18 million just yep. to get their infrastructure back up and running. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what these ransomware attacks are all about, what these uh, these people are fishing for, what they're looking for, and then how to, how to get out of this situation. Yeah, so I think uh, the important thing is to define for your viewers first, what is ransomware, yeah, absolutely. right? And certainly, um, the general public is becoming more and more educated and savvy and understand, but there's there's people out there who still don't know exactly what ransomware is. Um, so ransomware is a malicious piece of software. You know, back in the day we used to deal with viruses, right? And and viruses really are, are a thing of the past. Um, you know, in today's world we deal with malwares, and the, the most common form of malware is a ransomware. Now, um, a ransomware will infect your computer. Um, it uh, will encrypt all the data on your computer, which makes the data inaccessible to you. Um, they generally come with a payload of a worm also, which means that they will spread across the network. So if okay. your computer is connected to other computers in an office situation or in your home, uh, it will do its best to infect all the other computers, including servers. Uh, particularly, they're looking for data on servers. Particularly servers, right? Yeah, That's the easiest way to become prolific with all of yeah. them. And a lot of times, they'll sit on the network or on, on the computers for a while yeah. before you even know they're there. Wow. And then when they have hit a certain point of whatever they're trying to get, that's when they tell you, that's okay, lock it now down. we've got you. Yeah. So they almost sit idly and monitor, is they this do. even worth what we're doing? <coughs> and then once they get yeah. that, that data that they're looking for, they lock it down. Yeah, it's pretty common. Um, so once, once the data is encrypted, then you'll get a pop-up screen or uh, it takes over your entire desktop and you have this screen that basically says, um, we've encrypted your data. If you want it back, you're going to pay a ransom. And, and it gives you instructions, right? It's all done anonymously, so it's all done through Bitcoin um, because it's untraceable. Yep. Um, and so you have to, uh, if you if you opt to pay the ransom, which is generally not the recommendation that we, we would give, right? Um, uh, you, you have to go through this process to buy Bitcoin. And for people who don't have ongoing Bitcoin transactions, to get the amount of Bitcoin that you need to pay a ransom, can take a long time. It can take weeks um, to get cleared and to you know to buy a, a bit at a time. And because the cryptocurrency Bitcoin is so such a volatile currency, yeah. like you're going to be paying. You have no idea you don't know. how much. I mean, yeah. today it could be they could be asking you for a couple thousand, but because Bitcoin is so volatile, yeah. volatile, you could be trying to get it and you could end up <laughs> spending you know ten thousand yeah. dollars, whatever. Right. Well, and uh, you know to that point, when major ransomware. Um, infections hit, you know, nationwide or globally. Typically, the cost of Bitcoin will surge, and so yeah, I mean, the day it happens to you, Bitcoin might be worth five thousand dollars a Bitcoin, and they're asking you for half Bitcoin, right? Um, and a week later, when you're trying to scramble and, and get together all this Bitcoin, it might be worth twelve thousand dollars a Bitcoin, right? And so the price yeah. skyrockets. Um, but um, so, so I, I apologize, but I'm just curious, how does this originate in the first place? How, did, how does this <laughs> malware get onto the computer in the first place? Is it something that you ha have, as a user have to kind of allow? But I mean, obviously it's so sophisticated that you're not going to be able to tell. It's not 2005, you're not getting emails from the Prince of Nigeria asking for $50,000 mm -hmm. and you're going to receive a million dollars back, right? So it used to be back in, back in the olden days yeah. of <laughs> six months ago, yeah. right? <laughs> or, or so the, it, it used to be that, that somebody would actually physically be sending something out, okay. right? And you would be clicking on email or something. Now it could be flyby. It could be you just went to a website, huh. a reputable website, and picked something up. It could be that you clicked on a link in an email that seemed legit. Um, but it's not, nowadays it's not somebody targeting you. It's these softwares that are built, and they're out there just looking for wow. holes to penetrate. They're not out looking for any specific company necessarily, but as soon as they find something, that's they're looking they for opportunities. The, that's the best it. opportunities. And it's a software. It's not a person now. So 
you know, a software can do a lot more than the three of us as Absolutely. far as identifying specific in mass, holes. Right. Yep. In mass, as you said. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about what happens if, if you wake up one morning and, and you get that pop-up, that dreaded pop-up that says we've locked down all of your data and we're going to need a ransom to get it out. I think right. these, these uh, people that do this are also smart enough to realize the company size, what what they can actually, ma sure. you know, what they can manage in terms of, of spending. They're not going to ask uh, a small mom and pop company for the same amount that they would ask a Fortune 500 company Correct. for. And Correct. I think the reason they do this is they, they set the price ransom at, at a point that is uh, someone who's in a, a point of distress looking at it would say, it's logical for me to just pay this, get it's it over it. with, yeah. then rather than having to pay a professional team to come in yeah. and, and, and clean up everything. But nine times out of ten, you don't even get your data back. Yeah, it's, it's um, it, the odds of you getting your data back or all of the data is, is pretty uh, is pretty slim. So um, I think it's important actually before we answer that question to mention a few things that you can do up front. Please, right? yeah, that'd because be because if you can yeah. if you can avoid the situation, um, you're you're better. So first of all, always make sure you have really good robust backups and you have multiple redundant backups. You have on site, you have off site, you maybe have a cloud backup um, and even if it's even if it's for you individually at your home yep mm -hmm. and, and you need to make sure you validate your backups test restore some files every month or every couple of months make sure that those files work because if you get a ransomware then you can blow away your systems you can restore all the data and you don't have to, you have to worry about it yeah. yeah you don't have to worry about it. you don't have to succumb to a cyber criminal right um, uh, also if you get newer what's called next gen, you know, um, anti-virus or anti-malware protection, um, such as, for example, we, we recommend Sophos Intercept X. Mm -hmm. It has an anti-ransomware component, which will, it notices the behavior of ransomware, it will stop it and then reverse it and wow. decrypt the files uh, immediately and automatically if it can. And in most situations it, it does and it can. Um, and so if you protect yourself with the right stuff, um, you know, you, you can avoid the situation. But if you haven't protected yourself, which we get called in almost weekly mm -hmm. with companies or individuals who have, you know, um, fallen prey to a ransomware and are not adequately protected, yeah. um, and uh, in that situation, we would always recommend get a professional involved as soon as you can. Don't begin to uh, to go through the process of potentially collaborating with a cyber criminal. Negotiating with um, a cyber criminal. Yeah. yeah. Um, in, there are cases where you have to do it, right? You yeah. have no other hope. But professionals, sometimes we can do other things to try and restore data, right? You might have uh, shadow copies of data or um, there, there are decryption tools, some publicly available decryption tools that, um, that Interpol and some other uh, renowned antivirus companies around the world have made available. So there are tools that can be used to try and help you without having to pay a ransom. Pay the ransom. Um, I think it's important to know that your data is not important to them. Yeah. It's the value that, that, that you're, you value your data. That we, <laughs> that, yeah, that you as an, an individual or as a company values that data. Some companies, we've seen it, I'm not paying the ransom, I'm, I'm just going to let the data go, right? I'd love to have it, right? It's yeah. going to slow business down, I'm going to lose productivity, but Really, the, the goal here is just to put yourself in a position where you're not at a risk of that. Right? Absolutely. You never um, want to put yourself yeah. and be vulnerable to because something like that. Because chances are, if you end up paying a ransom, you may get your data back. You may get half of it back. It may be in a format that's going to take you, you know, six months to put back into order. Who knows? Who knows? Plus, yeah. the other side of it as well is, is going with a professional. You get the professional insight into some things that you would probably not even realize that you need to do if you yeah. uh, succumb to one of these attacks. You know, if, you, if you're a company <coughs> that has personal data, you need to immediately uh, contact authorities, you know, the FBI yeah. and their, and, and their um, yeah. agency. I yeah, the so name. there's the CISA, the Cyber and Infrastructure Security Agency that's a, a division of, of the FBI. So when these types of things happen, if you just Google CISA, you're supposed to go to the website and report it, right? Um, but you, you, a, a professional also, because of today's government data security regulations, a professional needs to assess if there was exfiltration of data. Hmm. Um, if, if they actually did steal data and not just encrypt it and leave it on your machines, right? Then you have an absolute obligation to, to um, 
to disclose that to all of the potential people who were affected by that. So that might be clients, it might be partners, it might be vendors, it might be HR data for your, your internal um, team and staff, right? And that's a whole <laughs> other thing that you don't want to deal yeah. with there. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about how people can get more information about Nexus ITC, get a hold of you two and, and ask questions if they need to. Sure, um, so here in Park City at 435-487-9099, our website is nexusitc.net. Perfect. Earl and Travis, I really appreciate you guys yep. coming on as always, sharing your guys' great tips. And if you guys need more information about ransomware attacks or anything related to malware or IT, you can find them and they have the great, great information for you. Again, nexusitc.net. You can contact them right here in Park City. We'll be right back with much more right here on Mountain Connections.